Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm joining you from a hemlock dominated stand here in Jackson County, Ohio, and I'm at Canner's Cave 4-H Camp. Today I'd like to introduce you to partridge berry. Partridge berry is found throughout much of Ohio. It tends to be found on more acidic type soils, so you tend to find it more in the eastern and the southern part of the state. It can be found throughout much of the eastern United States, but you typically don't find it where the soils aren't acidic. So in more of the farm country, the glaciated portions of Ohio and surrounding states, you're not going to find much of partridge berry. So how do we identify partridge berry? Well, first of all, partridge berry is probably the smallest plant that will ID in this series. It's probably somewhat debatable whether it's considered to be woody or not, but it's an evergreen vine that kind of creeps along the ground. It rarely gets more than a couple inches tall and then it just kind of creeps along the ground. It's prostrate or lays close to the ground. These leaves are tiny, maybe up to a third to a half inch in diameter. They're somewhat rounded or oval. It's got a fairly long petiole and they're always going to be found in pairs. So these leaves, as I mentioned, about a half inch or so max in length. They're dark green on the surface paler green below, but what makes them so beautiful is the veins are highlighted. So the, the center vein and the, to a lesser extent the other veins that branch off from the main vein are light yellow in color. So they almost appear somewhat variegated. But again it's evergreen, beautiful glossy foliage all winter long. Um, what makes this plant so unique though is the berries. It's called partridge berry because it produces these bright red berries that are persistent throughout the winter. That is until they're eaten. Obviously partridge berry is named because partridge or grouse probably eat these berries. There are also other animals like rodents that probably eat them as well. And on this hillside there's quite a bit of this partridge berry. It took me a long time to find one, but I did. I found three fruits. I found a loose one that was not attached. And then I found two, there's another one back up here, that are still attached and intact. Um, these fruits are unique. They can be up to about a quarter inch or so in diameter. But what's unique, if you look really closely, right at the base of this fruit, you're going to find two little dimples. These fruits are actually uh, produced from flowers that fuse. So the flowers are also going to be paired, just like the leaves. And those flowers are about a half inch or so in length. They're kind of white, maybe with a faint pink color. Again, about a half inch long, and then four petals. Those flowers are going to be in pairs, and then they tend to fuse to make one berry, and that berry will have these two dimples at the end. So again, bright red berries that will persist into winter. If you get out here in, say, the, the late fall, early winter, you're going to find more of these. If you come out in midsummer, you might be lucky enough to find these delicate little white flowers. Again, this is partridge berry. It's a wonderful little plant that creeps along the understory in these hemlock dominated forests. Thank you so much for your time and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.